think they can do whatever they want. Are you home? Vance, why didn't you answer? Misha, I'm in a hurry. So if you don't mind. Yeah, I do mind. What the hell's going on? What's with this packet? Does this have anything to do with the herders I saw outside? You know they were in our parking spot. Yeah, your parking spot. Stop. I can't do this anymore, Misha. I can't pretend. I am leaving. So if you can just back off for five seconds, I will be gone. What is this? You know what this is. And yes, you know who it's from. Vance, we talked about this. These people are, they're creepy, like, like some Kool-Aid drinking cult or something. Those people are the future, and soon I will be one of them. You could have joined me, but you made your choice. Vance, we discussed this, and you know what? We, we talked, decided. We talked, you decided. Okay. Vance. Me, me, Misha. I don't really know how to make this easy. Or save you from getting hurt in this. This is something I have to do. In the long run, I think this will be better for the both of us. So, can we not do this? Okay? Great. Vance, wait. Please. We need to discuss this. Please, just five minutes. Look. I liked you. I really did. But I was gonna leave you anyway. I just think we don't have the same goals anymore. Well, now if you'll excuse me, they're waiting. Don't follow me. Father Patrick McCann? Used to be. I need confession, and you're the only priest for six blocks. I ain't a priest no more. Father O'Connell is two buildings down. You can go and confess your evil deeds to him. Wait, wait I, I have vodka and cookies. I was in bed every night alone by 9 p.m. Never even got to see sweater puppies. Did get to drink all the time. But I never got to eat an Oreo. Okay, Patrick. Um, I'm not here for confession. You don't say. And here I was readying myself, ready to hear all of your naughty little deeds that really don't mean a thing in the grand scheme of things. Please, do go on. Patrick, it's about my boyfriend. He's decided to join the symbiote party. You get the hell out of here. 
I will have none of that in my house. I am not in the vampire hunting business anymore. I am in the drinking myself into a stupor and, and watching TV until I die business. You need to get out of here. I have to take my medicine. Wait. I need to know where they took my boyfriend. I need to get to him. Please, help me stop them. I'll have nothing to do with those bastards anymore. I fought them once and I lost everything. Here. This is the address for where they have him. But I beg you, let him go. License, please. Would you like my registration too, sir? Why were you at the home of Patrick McCann? Look, was I speeding? I don't understand. Answer the question. She's being difficult. Agreed. Don't move. Take her. No! No! Let go! You can't just take people! Why isn't my daughter here? I sent her here because I knew you were the only one long-winded enough to bore her into three days of slumber. You wanted me to be a babysitter. I'm not in the business anymore, my friend. So what is it exactly that you want? Did you give her the address? She asked me for information. I gave her information. Did you bring me anything? No, no. Bummer. I have to go after her. You need to help me. Will you meet me there? Look, I'm tired of repeating myself. I am not in the vampire hunting business anymore. You can go deal with those blood-sucking parasites yourself. This is just peachy. My pregnant daughter is going after her power-hungry, soon-to-be vampire boyfriend in the middle of the night against an army of herders, and I have to go save her. One man who actually might enjoy this has turned into a scared little coward. You're pathetic, my friend. I guess that stuff you've been putting in your veins has done more than make you look young. She's pregnant. Yes. <laughs> led that lamb to the slaughter. Put your shit together, let's go! You can't hold me here. I have rights! You have only the rights we allow you. I won't harm you. We simply need to hold you here to ensure that everything we've worked for isn't delayed. What does this have to do with me? He needs to know that you're pregnant. Oh, he's quite aware. He's known for weeks now. He was quite upset with you that you didn't tell him. How did you know that? Your doctor told her to keep it from him, yes? We are the puppeteers pulling the strings. Bastard! You should all die! Most of us have. Chris, you really are not a sight for sore eyes. Very nice, Patrick. You're still in the dark about so much. Why don't I bring you into the You've always been part of the plan. You're a key figure. That's why I allowed you to live so long. Now this is serving your purpose. 